Ja.
Go ahead. I just want to turn off the cameras. They can still hear, but otherwise we move it. Yeah, if you don't mind, would you mind? I'll, I'll scoot this, and if you don't mind, just bring it over. I know we're going to have to move anyway when we go down to one mat. But yeah. Thank you, thank you. Kyle, we got mats, we got mats to move. Let's go, let's go five.
All right, everybody, we're resituating the gym to get ready for the varsity meet. We'll be back here soon for the varsity. We'll keep the camera going and whatnot, but the action will resume pretty soon. We've got uh, senior night um, festivities for Pleasant Valley, and then we'll get into the varsity duel soon. I just want to move to that corner. You got wheels, right? Yes, but I've got this camera too. Okay. So we got to go together. You guys have to move unless you want to film the back. Good hey, move. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Good. Good. Go ahead. Stop. Um, yeah, let's move in the middle. Let's. I think that'll be okay. We're back set up in the middle. We'll get uh, senior night stuff going very soon, and then we'll get to the varsity action.
want to do it. You want to do it? I don't want to do it, but if he wants me to, so I'll probably end up doing it. How long? The whole time? I don't really want you to do it. I'd rather Aiden do it. <laughs> Good. We're on the same page. Here? Yeah. What's he doing? This is the detective at the Here. I figured. Here. How did he get a good job? He's me. So what we can do is that we could just talk wrestling here. Uh -huh. And you can hear it. You can hear it decent. It's not bad. I didn't bring the normal headsets, yeah. but it's not bad. Exactly. If we kind of chill like this, yeah. I think they'll be able to hear us. That works. I can do it, Dad, if you want to. I do require payment, though. <laughs> I need I need at least seven bucks in reimbursement. That's for sure. That's that's insane. This is well, that's a per diem. That's a per diem. This is outrageous. He needs a seven dollar per diem to cover his food he just bought. <laughs> but. We're starting at one thirty two, right? Yeah. Good job, genius. How did I ever get into this? Let's just talk a little bit. Starting at 1.32 tonight. Here's the some rankings and stuff. So as we get started, everybody, we just want to thank, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is Rob with QCA Wrestle. Bradley Hill is here with me, and Aiden, uh, Aiden Evans is here as well. Thank you guys for joining us. Yeah. yeah, thanks for having us. Excited, excited that you guys are back from college for a, for a little bit, and you get to watch a little little high school action. Yeah, I mean we got a good team, so it should be a good duel. Yeah. This starting off here, Jace Luna currently ranked number one. Duncan Hard currently ranked number nine. We have 132. That'll be one of a one of the highlight matches I would say tonight. And actually, this is another really good one at 138. Lincoln Chip, freshman, uh, currently ranked number six, putting together a pretty good start to his season. Holden Willett, unranked senior, but he's one of those guys that's right on that fringe. Uh, you, you could definitely see him being ranked. He just didn't quite make it into this current IA wrestle rankings, but uh, 138 will be a good one as well. And then, and then for me, the number one I'm looking forward to, obviously I, we come into this knowing that there could be some jostling of weights, people bumping around to, to try to give their team an edge. But if 152 plays out, we, we could have Jack Miller from Pleasant Valley currently ranked number four against number five, uh, I'm sorry, number six ranked Elijah Mendoza um, in, in a QCA clash rematch. Um, those guys wrestled each other back in November at Bettendorf High School in the second annual QCA Clash. Iowa wrestler Ella Schmidt is now on the mic as well. Is there a microphone? You gotta be louder than that. You gotta talk into it. You gotta like get close. That's why we're hunched over. I think it's the AirPods. I hope I don't then just cover the mic. <laughs> they never pronounced his name right. 
they never pronounce his name right. And he, he always gets mad. Everybody's got the Japanese Asian They're so clean. They are. They're so nice. I wish we could wear those. I hate that kid. Oh, hey. Where are they? Say to the mic. Got the captains rolling out for the coin toss here. For Bettendorf, it's Tycho Carmichael and Elijah Mendoza. Jack Miller and I'm not sure the other guy for PVE. Ike Swanson. Oh, Ike Swanson. Yeah, I know who Ike is. Obviously the coaches, Larson and Knight. Am I allowed to eat on a job? What? Just remember everything, even this right here, that you can so you know. Yeah. There's a good chance. Hi, Ella. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good. Hey, you guys have one. Well, no way. PV win or Bet North wins a coin toss, it looks like. Bet North right, right? For the first match, Jace Luna out on the mat versus Duncan Harn. Our first bout of the night. As you can hear, the crowd's getting pretty fired up. I think everybody's pretty excited for this duel. Shake hands and they're ready to go. Jace Luna clearing ties, throwing some fakes. Half shot from Jace Luna there. Harn pulls him down to a front headlock. Jace needs to get his head to the opposite side here and clear out. A little dump attempt, doesn't quite go. Harn dragging him to the mat. I'm assuming we're going to see a stalemate here somewhat soon if nothing changes. Luna again, kind of back on his offense with some fakes. A lot of motion from Luna. 
100%. And a double on the edge here. Tries to collect the leg. Har Harn comes up to an underhook and an overhook. Luna pushing down on the elbow on the edge here. He's going to need to fire off an attack. As you Good see there, elbow pass, high crotch. Catch two, two on the edge. Good takedown take by Jace Luna. Looking for an Easton tilt here. He's got it. And there's a count. Jace Luna gets two backs here, comes back on top. He does still have the same hold, so he hasn't gotten his back points yet. Let's go of it. The ref awards it. He's got the same hold again, going for an Easton. Ten seconds left in the period. Jace probably just looking for a decent ride here. Oh, looking he goes for another, for another turn. Another Easton tilt, going for it. Nothing of it. And that's the first period. Jace Luna up four to zero. Jace Luna takes down in the second. PV defers. Luna up to his feet right away. Harn gonna have to return him here. Luna gets his one. Good oh, offense from Luna, crotch. another high crotch. Quick finish. Ooh, if he can come up to the head, come up to the head here, cross face a good turn. Nothing doing, nothing doing. <laughs> Luna going to cut him. He wants to get back to some more offense, maybe take it out of him a little bit. Hard controlling Luna's lead wrist here. Another elbow pass to a high crotch, I'm assuming, here for Luna. There it is. He goes to it. Harn feels it this time. Luna on a low single. Runs to the outside. Harn looking to leg pass. Luna comes out. Nothing given yet. Two, Luna. He gets his two. Score 9 1. Luna currently holding the major. Coach Knight saying turn him or cut him. They need some. They want some bonus points here early to get the train rolling. Luna again on a dump. Environments, maybe to his back. And he's gonna get some backs here. I think not quite. Harn fights it off. Luna going for another takedown. Luna here in 30 seconds left, and he thinks he can get another one. He's got him on the edge. No call here, just an action. You see Luna back in on his Good, tie, a nice knee pull single. Circles corner. Get into the corner, he comes up to the head. Not two quite, just Jace two takedown Luna. Scores now 13 to three, Jace Luna. He's got 10 seconds left. The coach and staff saying hold on to him. Luna's looking for another turn. He's got it. They're counting backs. Luna with a great turn at the end of the period there. Pleasant Valley kind of unsure what to do here. Chooses bottom. Scores 15 to three. If Luna gets one more turn for three backs here, he will get the tech fall. Back to that Easton tilt. Harn peeling wrist. We're going back. And Luna takes it backside, elevating that bottom leg. Luna with a two count. A really slow count. Yeah. Wow. Now 17 to three, Luna cuts, cuts him. him. One takedown will end the match. Yep. Luna back to that elbow pass and just runs corner quick. He's gonna get the two here. Tech fall for Jace Luna. Start off the night. That's a great start for the Bulldogs. If you're the Bulldogs, that's the best way you can start out there other than a pin. Tech fall, lots of points. Set the tone early. So now at 138, we have six ranked freshman Lincoln Jip from Bettendorf. And then 
it looks like Pleasant Valley is going to bump up Holden Willett. So I'm not sure who they're sending out. <laughs> Chase Macy. From Chase Pleasant Macy for, from Pleasant Valley here. A lot of motion, good hand fighting early. Jip off right away good to a low shot. single on the edge. Two. And he's got oh, it. Not no, yet. Nothing quite. Nothing. Good scramble oh, out of bounds. Jip no hops points. over. They don't give him the points there. Lots of rolling though, folks. Another low single good. from Jip. Comes up with it. Dumps him down. He's gonna get his two here. Lincoln going to the Easton tilt as well. He's gonna get it. Oh, That's right. close to a fall. Close to a fall. Jip gets his five count. Yep, gets the three backs, goes straight to a cross face. He's looking cradle here. Lincoln Jip very long. He might be able to get this one. I think he's close to getting it locked. Macy breaks away. Lincoln back to the Easton tilt. And he's close, close to a to fall. fall. Again, wow. Another two count for Lincoln Jip. He lets go of it, gets his two. He's looking up for the cradle. He's probably going to come lower at that ankle to get it. Lincoln baiting that cradle. He's got it locked up. Can he hold on to it? He's bringing it back. He's got it. He's got to put his bottom knee in the side here to get the fall. Ref not quite in position to see the fall. Oh, it's close. close. It's yep. close. And he gets it. Lincoln Jip with a fall. Huge start for Bettendorf. Two bonus point wins right off the bat. Kendall Kerr. At 145, we have Kendall Kerr coming out for Bettendorf. And as mentioned, looks like Pleasant Valley sitting out Holden Willett. That's not Holden Willett, is it? Yeah, that's it. That is. And from Kendall Kerr. And from Pleasant Valley, Holden Willett. Kendall Kerr getting to a, a meat hook here right off the bat. Kendall's kind of moving forward here. Good high crotch. Will it high crotch? He cuts Kendall, across. Kendall trying to get Kendall. off of it here. Kendall bumps into a hip. Reaching for the ankle. He needs to get his hips down here. Not Will let him cut off. Cross again. Switches back to one. Kerr bumps oh. him to a hip. Looking to hook ankle. If Kerr gets that, gets him flat again. Will it readjusting? Will it Looking up. like he's going to get cuts. two here. Let's, oh. Kerr not giving anything up. Great scramble oh. here, and Kerr circles Kerr his hips back. Up. This is a great scramble to start off. Should get a stalemate here. Yeah, soon. no movement. There we go. That's a great scramble by Kendall Kerr right there to not give up a takedown. And points that look like both of them were dead to rights. Yeah. They just kept on wrestling. <laughs> Kendall Kerr with a kind of a meat hook there and a thumb block. He gets back to it. Controlling that lead lead arm of Willett. Looking for a drag. Willett with the drag attempt. Nothing coming Still up on in it. it. Oh, takes a high crotch. Kendall. Kind of in a weird spot. Just kind of backs off the mat. Will it takes a deep breath to reset himself here? Kerr hanging on that head right now. Five seconds left to go in the period. That's the first period. We stay scoreless. Looks 
still action packed though. That was a great scramble to start off the really match. Lillett takes down to start the second. Kerr with a tough ride on top so far. Lillett holding the quad pod. Kind of staying in this position. Kerr trying to extend him. Lillett with a sit out attempt. Kerr's got the arm behind his back, kind of dragging him down. Kendall back down to a double. Cradle opportunity, maybe. Yep. You're hearing the you're hearing Knight yell cradle, and he's got a oh, near side. In the crotch. Similar to where they were earlier in the first period. Yeah, this looks exactly like the first Will position. Will it drops him down? Will it kind of learn something? Figured he'd drop him down to crack down. Kerr does a great job of popping his hips back up. Will it switching off to a double? Kerr Nothing of it. Will it Kerr it rolls him top. through. Close to two, and there's two reversal. Will it? Kendall Kerr needs to bail here. Kendall gets one here, that could be huge. Go back down in the third period and get out again, tie this score up. Willett doing a good job driving over that wrist. Willett going cross face kind of ankle ride here. Willett back to the cross face. Looking for Butcher. Kendall does a good job getting his hips up. Willett with a leg in, oh, two legs boots. in. Flattens Stemming Kerr back Kerr out with 10 yeah. seconds left in the period. It's a big ride out. Yeah, that's a huge ride out for Willett. Looks like Willett's looking power half late in this period. You know, I don't know if you go down if you're Bettendorf here again. After. After that ride, I have to put him on his feet. Yep, Coach That's exactly Knight. exactly what they're doing. Knight thinks the same thing. Kerr's going back on his feet here. Looking to replicate maybe that first period, get sneak a takedown in. Kerr controlling the lead wrist to will it. See will it kind of starting to pick up his pace here a little bit, throwing some more fakes. Kerr just steady in the hand fight, pulling his head down. Kendall closing that distance. Will it kind of tries a little shuck attempt? I mean, if you're if you're Kendall Kerr here, you gotta pick up the pace a little bit. Yeah, maybe look to sneak oh, one in, and just as, as we say that, that, Kendall's in on a high crotch. Makes the build up. Willett doing a great job sliding off from around yep. the corner. Getting the corner with his hips here. Kerr needs to just kind of hang on here. Live to fight another day. Looks like we might. Kerr uh, kind of breaks Willett his grip. Going behind. But Kerr's still in this fight. He's still wrestling here. There's Almost nothing. nothing. And Kerr wow. gets his hips back out. He needs to hold on to that leg and keep wrestling. Up to Willett. Will it does a great job. But there's 30 seconds left here, folks. You gotta think Will is trying to get a turn to maybe get some bonus points. Get his team back in this Power match. Half. Kerr stepping up right. Kerr doing a good job of sitting out here. Not giving anything up. Will it trying to put that arm on the back? Nothing of it. Kendall just kind of belt. Short time, can't go to your back here. Yep, absolutely not. And Kendall Kerr does a great job of fighting. He be really needed that weight. Yeah. Bettendorf, a, Bettendorf got away, got away with a decision there for sure. Yep. Especially with this big matchup coming up here from PV, we got number four rank Jack Miller. And bumping, Coming. bumping up, we got Tycho Carmichael yep, number from 145. As we said earlier, you know, guys are going to get bumped up. We'll, we'll see how this fares. 
Jack Miller kind of coming out right away, thinking he's going to set the tone here. Tycho with a great snap. Carmichael pulling on the head here. Miller controlling that front wrist. Both of them staying in really good position. Yep. Oh, Tycho snaps him down. No, a little dump attempt there for Miller. Nothing quite going. Carmichael's reaching backside. It looks Trying like he's going to get two here. Wow. Oh, oh and he's got cradle. a cradle. He's got it locked up. He goes over with it. Puts Miller oh, my back. gosh. Oh, it's close. It's close. He needs to settle down here. He's oh, got lots tight. of time. Lots of time for Tycho Carmichael here. A minute left in the period. He's got oh, my gosh. That's tight. tight. That's tight. Miller doing a good job of sitting up with it. Trying to inch over. It looks like Miller might Tycho come Tycho hops over. Both sides. Oh, that. He needs to switch Step up that leg. There time. we go. You hear people yelling, lots of time, Tycho. Miller gets off his back. Tycho still got it locked up pretty tight. Yeah, this is a tight Looks cradle. Like he's still got 30 seconds to work with this oh. thing. And he's going to get it over again. He's going to get it over again, I think. He's got to suck this cradle up to his chest. If he circles up with it to his chest, I think he could get this. Jack Miller doing a great, great job, job of, of flexibility. Yeah. Hand. Ten seconds. Wow. That's a great start to the match, though, for Tycho. Bumping oh, yeah. up a weight and coming up with a cradle. That's huge. Really sets a tone. I mean, Jack Miller, he fought really well. But that gets super tiring fighting off your back for a minute and a half. Bettendorf defers in the second period. Jack Miller getting out right away. Does a great job there. Tycho still pressing forward. Miller kind of hanging out in a underhook, underhook side on his left side here. Looking maybe to slow down Carmichael's offense. Carmichael with a fake dump attempt. Tycho now with an underhook left side. Positions kind of switch here. And, and he walks him out. Miller's got to be careful there on the edge. He could get Daniel Stong after a couple of those. And both of these guys are very dangerous yeah. in any position. <clears throat> I mean, as you can tell, there can be fireworks at any moment. Miller Good with the attack. Oh. Carmichael kind of fends it oh, off. Oh, just as I was saying, headlock, beautiful headlock by Jack Miller. But Tycho, and Carmichael's going through. through. Miller settles back in, looking for a fall. And he's got it. What a headlock by Jack Miller. Just as we said that, Jack Miller. Dangerous from any position. What a great move by Jack Miller. Wow, that is huge for momentum for PV. Yeah, that's a, that's a massive match. That is a swing they needed right there. And now we got from Bettendorf bumping up, number six ranked Elijah Mendoza against PV's Ike Swanson. Swanson last year in this duel had a huge fall for PV too. Underhook left side for Mendoza. Ike with a high crotch attempt, nothing coming off of it. Mendoza front head. Yep. Hopefully get him pull, pull him down, down here. here. Yeah, on the edge. Maybe look to score. Oh, foot sweep, maybe. Mendoza with the double attempt, nothing coming of it. They call him out. Back to the center here. Mendoza on a wrist and an elbow tie here. Oh, high crotch fire off. Crotch. Inside and side. Mendoza oh, double. Hopefully gonna hook that bottom. And he's leg. got a Turk here. He's got a Turk. Need to keep 
climbing forward. Yep. Great shot Gotta by Mendoza. Hard cross face. Yep. Puts the opposite shoulder to the mat. He's looking, looking butcher, butcher here. He, he could get this. Swanson doing a good job. Fighting up to his base. Yep. Mendoza walking with his butcher, kind of sticking with it. Nothing kind of coming out of this position. PV coach is calling for a stalemate here. Can you, can you call a stalemate there? I don't even know. I'm, yeah, I, you got to be able to. Doesn't look like the ref's going to do it with three seconds left in the period here, though. And that's a good start for Elijah Mendoza. It doesn't move. You got to move the whole stand. Starting off the second bottom? I believe so. Starting off the second, Swanson goes down. Mendoza hooking ankle. Yep, good ankle right here from Mendoza. Swanson doing a good job Looking of trying to step over. Head lever, trying to pull his hip down. He's got it, it looks like. Oh, oh he puts it, it up on the hip. Straight to a bar from He's Mendoza. got a lot of time here, he's got to be patient. This is a really good position. He's walking over with over. it. He's step over that head. Good job by Swanson getting Swanson his arm Swanson with really flexible shoulders here. Oh, maybe cradle. Swanson, Swanson feels it. Swanson feels the cradle, puts the arm over his head here. Mendoza kind of walking that head towards the leg. He could look for it. Swanson, Swanson probably going to reach wrist. up for the leg here. Oh, Elijah's still looking for a cradle. Looking for that near side still. Nothing come of it. Swanson lights go to the wrist, looks to build up here. Near wrist from Mendoza, trying to trap it. Yep. Swanson looks like he's rolling out. Oh my oh, gosh, Mendoza looking. Maybe. Oh, Swanson. Swanson kind of in a grand B position here. Mendoza needs to get his arm back, not give up Stand one up. this late. <coughs> Swanson with a great job of chaining some moves together there to get an escape. Both wrestlers kind of flat footed in the tie. Mendoza pressing forward. Works him to the edge here. Maybe looking to go back to that elbow pass high crotch he did before. Underhook, both of them. Over under situation here. Mendoza with the left side, Ike with the right side. Nothing kind of coming of it. Mendoza runs down a little Russian tie, nothing there. Oh, oh and a great double. double on the edge. Oh, oh. it's not enough. Swanson area. does a great job of just walking his feet out there. Eight seconds left, and you see Mendoza jog back to the center here. Maybe looking to fire one more off. They'll both just hang out at the end of this period, going into third. Mendoza choose bottom going into the third period. Yep. Shot from Mike oh. Swanson into a cradle. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my gosh. And a reversal Dude. from Mendoza. Wow. wow. That could have been dangerous, guys. Oh, and, and back points wow. from Mendoza. That's a great turn from him. This could break this match wide open. Mendoza hoping to slip in a half there, maybe come up on top. Yeah. You hear Knight yelling half. Coming out of this position, he's trying to do it. This Swanson. Swanson's got to get stingy. Can't give up any more points. Yep, a couple more points here, and we could be looking at a major decision for for uh, Elijah Mendoza. Mendoza still with that left boot in. Swanson clears it. I mean, if you're Mendoza here, do you, you think gotta look about for cutting him? Maybe tilting in? It looks like he might be going for another turn here. Looking for something, hopping out to, to the side with a near wrist. Ike Swanson just kind of buried down here, not really looking to give up any turns. Bettendorf coaches yelling, yelling for an action call on the bottom guy. Mendoza coming out to the oh, side with another bar. Oh. oh, it was Blair. Knight's calling for a turn. Mendoza coming Looking out to kind take. of a hammer lock. <coughs> 
knows that trap in the head under. He's got he's got the He needs to pinch the he, Swanson almost looks like he's about to come out. Yeah. This is a weird position. Mendoza ended up in kind of a Merkel position. Nothing of it here. And Mendoza gets taken Big down with eight seconds left. Swanson. And it looks like Elijah Mendoza is going to sneak away with the win here. <coughs> Seven to three, Elijah Mendoza. It's a great match for Bettendorf to get back on the tracks there after that kind of crazy pin. Oh, yeah. And uh, here at 100. We got Armand Williams from a, at 170 for Bettendorf, and didn't hear his name from TV. Something Wilson. Looks like Caden McDermott is bumping up to 182 here. Couple little flurries here in the first period. Nothing kind of coming out of it. Shot Good from single from, from Wilson. Nelson. I think it's Nelson. Nelson? I think so. It's circle that corner, get the elbow to the mat. Armand, Armand doing a great job sliding yeah. off it. If he circles left here. Oh, oh it, it looks like hit. he's gonna get it too. Nothing yet. He's got a cradle oh, locked wow. up. He needs to just walk behind. Oh, He's got a cradle. Two takedown. Two takedown. If he can get, get some backs here. Side, get this hip to hip. Yep. Looks like he's listening to what you're saying. He's trying. Oh, kind of oh, breaks out of it. Good job by Nelson getting out of there. Yeah, great defending from PB. Looks like he's kind of looking for the same thing. Armand just following behind. Armand, Armand going, going to cradle, cradle again. again. Nelson doing a good job Cross of face. bailing down here. Armand going back to a hooked ankle ride here. Out of bounds. Push him out of bounds. It's a good, it's a good ride there to start off. I feel like it just keeps moving. Yeah, we're we're hitting it with this oh, thing. That makes way more sense. <laughs> Armand a little high here. Nelson up Nelson to his feet. Oh, he jumps over. Jumps over, nothing Still quite yet. Oh. Armand kind of getting his head goal. high here. Got to be careful. Oh, and two and a reversal. reversal from PV. Great scrambling right there. If you're Bettendorf, you probably want to get one here before this period runs out. He okay. might be able to. Oh, that's, that's straight in oh. the net. Armand up to his nothing. feet again and nothing of it. Great ride from TV to end off that period. A big reversal. Tie back up at two. Williams shoots his bottom going into the second period. Armand kind of with a oh. switch situation oh. to his back. Oh. Oh my this gosh! Huge. This could be huge, a huge fall for Armand! Ball. He needs to walk that arm out, and it's close, oh. and he and gets it! Ball. Oh my gosh! Wow. That was not supposed to happen, folks. Huge, huge swing for Bettendorf right there. Wow. Freshman Armand coming up clutch in this duel. Big six points for Bettendorf going That's to these huge. upper weights. Now from Bettendorf we have Cooper Augusta, and then from PV we have bumping up from 170 returning state finalist Caden McDermott, ranked number one. McDermott kind of coming to an underhook here, underhook and collar. Aggressive unhook for McDermott again. Pulls yeah, him looking down. to pull him down into a front head here. Shucks Good him shot by. from McDermott. Good takedown.
McDermott kind of McDermott lets him cousin. go. Maybe looking looking to get a couple of those and get back some bonus points for his Looks squad the here. Underhook again. Augusta. Augusta does a good job well. circling back to center. McDermott pulls him down. Underhook other side now. And shucks him by again. Same exact Another position. Another good takedown by McDermott. McDermott kind of looking claw here. Augusta back up to his feet. McDermott maybe looking east and tilt here. Maybe looking Turk. Yeah, looking to lift that near leg. Augusta doing a good job of hipping down. 30 seconds left here. Looking to take him backside, Easton. Nothing quite yet. Augusta doing a good job of bellying out. <clears throat> McDermott working here on top, trying to get a turn before this period's over. Waiting for him to, what looks like to build up. Kind of let's go with that turn. Augusta to his base here. One second left in the period. Good period by McDermott, but if you're Bednor, you gotta be happy with that first period. Yeah. A little assumed under match going into this match. Augusta could put on a little bit of a tough ride here. Good first move by Augusta. Oh, yeah. chops. Good roll from McDermott. Good movement by McDermott on bottom. Nothing coming of it. McDermott kind of putting his hands on his on his knees there. Maybe a little bit tired. Gus still continuing to move forward. <clears throat> McDermott. McDermott's pace is severely slowing down here in the second period. Augusta going forward. McDermott looking for that hook again. And it looks like Augusta's felt it. Keeping the pressure on, going head to head here, McDermott. Not really doing too much. Good work by Augusta, continuing to move forward. McDermott pulls it off into a Russian, nothing of it. Looks to Looking snap. To snap down. Under again, snaps him under. Front head where he scored both times. Augusta and needs to again. wrestle here. Shuck's coming. And Shuck yep. again, another good shuck by McDermott. Yeah. Looks like McDermott's gonna look uh, claw tilt here. Nothing coming of it. Good changeover by Augusta. On the edge here, if he can get up. one. He's gotta peel that wrist, elbow back. Out Does a bounds. good job getting out of bounds. Caution McDermott. Yep. His first of the match, first of the duel, actually. Good and Augusta right to his feet. Big return by McDermott. Close to being illegal, trapped arm. Smart though, lets it go at the end. Looks like he's gonna hang out in this crab ride, this claw. Augusta kind of keeping his base here. Cooper continuing to work up. Making McDermott work here on top. McDermott's doing a good job breaking him flat. It looks like that's probably going to be it for the rest of this period. McDermott out to the side with that claw. And that'll be it for the second period. Looks like Augusta choosing bottom. Smart choice here from Bettendorf. Looks like PV's going to want to let him up and put some extra points on the board. That was close Third. to a caution. Wow. Quick shot off the whistle. Yeah. Augusta does a great job moving forward. Augusta continuing to push the pace. Yeah, staying into him. McDermott not really looking for too much here. A lot of steps backward. Good double from McDermott. Augusta McDermott gets off it. And Augusta kind of catches it. Back Under to that underhook, and Augusta again. does a good job of getting out of it.
Augusta hanging on that, hanging on that head of McDermott. Lots of steps forward for Cooper Augusta here. Augusta moving forward. No real attacks, but he is definitely closing ground here. Underhook from Another McDermott under again, and he Augusta feels it. Here comes a double from McDermott. He's kind of faking from space. You gotta think it's coming. McDermott, big unhook. Augusta gets off it again. These clubs are getting a little heavy here. Augusta kind of maybe frustrating McDermott. McDermott hands on his knees here. McDermott seems to be getting really frustrated in this match. Oh. This could just be the break to give him, you know, a little second win to get that extra takedown here. He's actually gonna need two. No. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, he will need to. He'll need two oh. takedowns in 30 seconds here. Mathematician, Aiden Evans. Yep, that's why they pay me the big bucks here at QCA Wrestle. Okay. $7.01 per diem. Brad gets a $7 per diem. It's actually six fifty. <laughs> six fifty. <clears throat> McDermott kind of backing up, looking to set up that double. Comes up to an underhook, nothing of it. Augusta. Kind of frustrating them here. Fifteen seconds left in the third period. Oh, He's looking headlock, headlock attempt, and nothing of it. Augusta gets off. Short time here. Ten seconds left. Can't give up a takedown here. Oh, that's all right. He just oh, bails out of it. And Bettendorf sneaks away without a major there. That's huge. Good 9-2 win by Kane McDermott, but if you're Bettendorf, you got to be happy with that. Yeah. Not giving up bonus points there. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, it looked ugly in that first period there, and then McDermott just kind of slowed down. I don't know if Augustus Pace just got to him or what it was. So from Pleasant Valley, we got Nathan Musel, and from Ben North, we got Aiden Lee. Battle of unranked guys here. Good Heavy hand fight, fight yeah. Wow. These guys came Pulls out to wrestle. Down. Oh, good Lee shot with by the Lee. shot. Two. Two takedown for Aiden Lee right off the bat. Musel stands up and oh, big return. Almost, almost locked hands, but yeah. no call. Not quite. Aiden Lee kind of wrestling through this here, throws a leg in. Almost locked hands again. PV Bench is not having it. They are very upset with that one, but. Lee looking for a nearest. Oh, and there's the locked hands cause to go out of bounds. So one point Musel. Coach Knight not wanting to deal with it anymore. He said he's going to put them both up. Lee rocking the inside out band. Inside out ankle band. Oh, it's they a, both are. Interesting style choice. It's a fashion statement. Aiden Lee back to that high crotch. Nothing coming of it. Musel just kind of posting here. Not doing too much. Trying to snap him down to a front head. Lee, Lee shot, with Musil another shot. Down, gets out of the front headlock. Another high crotch for Aiden Lee. Works, runs and runs him out of, bounds, out of bounds. Wow. Straight out of bounds there. That's some good wrestling by Aiden Lee. <laughs> Looks like Musel here is just looking for a front headlock. Aiden Lee not really giving it to him. Aiden Lee with an outside Another step, high, high crotch. crotch, and he Holds gets him, him down. down. There's two. two. Oh, almost locked hands again. 
and you hear the Bettendorf bench yell and get a wrist because they do not want him to lock hands. Need a return here, can't let him get away. Short time, no points. And they don't, Lee's still in control. Lee doesn't give it away here at the end. No one there, that's a huge ride out for Aiden Lee. Lee chooses bottom. Knight yelling no, oh boy. Knight yelling no cradle here. Eels are looking for a half, half thigh pry. Aiden Lee doing a good job of winging down. Aiden Lee up to his feet, good stand up. and he gets he cuts out. Oh, oh, they give him one on the edge. Refs talking about it. Call is reversed. They actually no don't escape. give him the one. They're doing it to this kid's corner. It's fire. going back to that half there. Nothing kind of coming of it. Maybe looking for a tilt here. Lead quad pod stands up now. Up to his feet. Musil has to return him. Fighting hands. Way to stick with it, Musil. Now look for near Grabbing the on the headgear oh. for Musil. Wow, that's Hell an elbow. Man. Strong power after Musil. Lee fights it. Wow. Musil oh. with some elbows on wow. top. I think he forgot this was wrestling, not <laughs> MMA. There's another one. <laughs> another power half attempt for Musil. Lee trying to stand up with it. Grabbing headgear, maybe. Oh my gosh. Hard crossface. Lee staying in there fighting. A lot of elbows wow. from the top there from Musil. Almost a full Nelson. Grabbing on the headgear from Musil too. hard elbow. And Aiden Lee and is out to his feet. And Aiden Lee gets kick. one. He gets one. Twenty seconds left in the period. Aiden Lee, Lee up, pulls him down five for to a two. Musil's tired. Corner. Aiden Lee with two a two takedown at the end of the period. Wow, big that's huge. Takedown. That is huge. Great way to end the period by Aiden Lee. Musil chooses bottom going into the third period. And Aiden Lee lets him go, thinking, hey, we might be able to get some bonus points here. Aiden Lee fakes in and out, pulls him down into a front head. Oh, a lot of good motion. A lot of good motion. Another Looks front to pull headlock from Aiden Lee. He's looking to run corner here. Oh, oh Musil man. drops in our leg. Uh oh. Danger. Aiden Lee needs to get his head up. Aiden Lee. Musil looking to come out the back. No takedown given yet. Nothing Aiden yet. Lee doing wow. a good job. Wow. Almost. This is a crazy two. scramble. Nothing given yet. And it's stalemated. Wow. Aiden good Lee. Scramble. Musil kind of starting to push the pace here a little bit. Musil maybe looking to go upper body down kind of big late in the match. Aiden Lee doing a good job of controlling that wrist. Takes a peek up at the clock. Good high clock. Fires it on high clock. Musil slides off it. Aiden Lee needs to just hold on here, maybe get a little bit of a breather. Way to slide off the Musil. Now maybe looking to run corner, but they still made it. Aiden Lee a little slow to get up here.
pulls his head down again. Hughes are continuing to work forward. Lee kind of hanging on his head though. Lee looks at the clock. Aiden Lee just kind of needs a hand fight in here and stay in the center of the mat. Musel, underhook right side, pulls him down. Lee works out of the front head. Lost his mouth guard, ref breaks that it. That could be a good break here for Aiden Lee. 13 seconds, Musel needs to go big. Musel takes a lunge at him here. Aiden Lee scrolls. And he's gonna circle behind. Nothing quite yet. No One second. Shot. Aiden Lee comes away with the win. That is a huge win for Bettendorf. Two twenty. So two twenty from PB. It looks like we're gonna have number five, Rusty Van Wettinga, and from. Bettendorf, it looks like bumping up, we're going to have Malachi Woods, I believe. This is a big match. PB desperately needs bonus points in. An obvious size difference here. Rusty on his head, looks underhook, runs him out of bounds. Rusty with a double leg, double. puts him to his hip, two, Van Wetzinger. Looking for Turk now. Woods doing a good job of crawling forward, kind of, oh wow. Big cross face. Cross face cradle. He needs to get off to the side if he's going to run it all the way. And once again, now looking power half. Oh, and he. And once again, picks it oh. up. Getting some backs here. Woods is close. Woods doing a and great job. Looking for a fall. Woods staying tough here on bottom, not giving up the fall. Van Wetzinger comes Van Wetzinger adjusting for a half. Looks oh. like he's going to get this one. Now, and there's the fall. Good work by Van Wetzinger getting some much needed bonus points as we go into heavyweight. Yeah. So heavyweight from PV looks like I believe his name was Jackson Kleeman. And we'll have uh, Xander Glazebrook from Bettendorf. Bumping up from, I believe he's their 220 pounder. Yep. So obviously undersized, but hoping to sneak one past PV. Momentum going to the back half of the duel. Lazebrook doing a good job of kind of controlling this hand fight for being undersized. Taking him to the edge here. Big underhook. Blazebrook fights it off. Kind of hanging out in that collar tie there, trying to wear on him.
Blazebrook doing a good job of pulling him down to this front head. Bettendorf's side wanting oh. him to pull him to the mat. Nothing quite happening there. Maybe a little bit of the size difference. Blazebrook continuing to take oh, ground, a little half Blazebrook. shot attempt. Pulls him down. And he clears out of it well. Looks so like we're going into the second period, tied 0 0. That's a good first, first period for both guys, you know. Bettendorf's choice. Blazebrook defers his choice to third period. And PV goes neutral. Hopefully we'll see a little bit, a little bit more action here. Maybe a takedown. Blazebrook, as pulls I say that, head. pulls him down to a front head. He's pulled all the way. To, oh, PV pulls him up. Wants double underhooks here. Here comes oh, headlock. headlock Blazebrook, Blazebrook backing out of it. Behind. Bla oh, Blazebrook does a both great of them job. Out of it. Blazebrook keeps the underhook. And Glazebrook kind of still keeping the pressure on him, moving him forward. On the Almost edge. Almost a seatbelt for Glazebrook. They're, they're calling Needs for... Needs to pull him down. Maybe looking to get a quick, cheap takedown. Oh, he drops Almost drops leg. in on a leg. Nothing Back quite doing. This is where that size he difference really comes down. into play. And Glazebrook brings him down to a front head again. Great job. Glazebrook in another underhook. Great head position. Pressuring forward. Maybe working for a stall call. Coach Knight's calling for one. Yeah, the Bettendorf bench looking for a stall call here. His PV's on the edge again. Glazebrook with another snap, snap down. He's pulled all the way down. Blazebrook again Hunt on his oh, corner. And it goes behind. Almost. On Kleeman. And does nothing a great quite. Job getting out of it. The Kleeman. Oh, and there's Stalling a stall call. Oh, Kleeman. Bettendorf was calling for that one, and they, they finally get it at the end of the second. That could play a factor. Again, Blazebrook looking, looking for a takedown. Two, two oh, at the end of the period. Wow. No oh my points. goodness! Wow, that is close, folks. And Bettendorf saying, "Take him back on our feet. We want to see if we can wow. do that again." A big no call. Blazebrook, that's got to give him some confidence to go back to it, though. Blazebrook continuing to press forward, and we're moving forward. Cleman does a good job circling in. This Cleman just kind of standing straight fight. up. Blazebrook just in the fight here. Back Blazer, to that underhook under front head. Pulls him back and he's down. got it. He's on him. Oh, Kleeman looking for a headlock. Blazebrook not giving it. Oh, Blazebrook now behind, and Kleeman does a great job of getting out of it again. And Blazebrook, oh. front head, tries to pull tries him down. All the way down. And he's got snap. it. Two, oh, two, two, two Brody. Blazebrook. Big takedown. Huge down. takedown. Huge. And you and if you're Glazebrook, you want to keep him as flat as possible for this next minute and four seconds. You should be careful of the big roll from Kleeman. This might be where you see the size come in here. Blazebrook doing a great job of controlling those wrists. I look for a chop. And he gets he it. Chops him down. Breaks him down. 30 more seconds. Glazebrook has to be tough here. Uh, 
and he, the PV heavyweight here, looking very tired, not really wanting to do much. Blazebrook trying to break him down. Got to be weary of a fat man roll here. Short time here for Glazebrook. It looks, looks like, like Glazebrook's going to leave with out. the win after bumping up. That is a huge win for Bendorf. And he lets go him go. Wow. That is a power move, folks. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Big win for Bettendorf up 26-18 as we now switch it back to the lightweights. And really, this is where you hit the heart of Bettendorf's lineup right here. We have Jaden Luna, the younger brother of Jace Luna, the one who started off the duel tonight at 160 pounds. I'm not sure what his last name was. Yeah. Luna, kind of getting off to a hot start here, passing elbows, just like his brother, in on a double. And he's going to finish here, it looks like. He's got two takedown, looking for a ride here. Matt returned from Luna, and he gets it. Luna, Luna maybe looking for an east and like his and he's brother gonna did. Get it. Oh, oh, good job rolling through from PV. And we're going to get a restart here. Luna puts them both back up. Says I want to get another one. Again with another double just collapses him. Great shot from Luna. Maybe looking east and again. Oh, wow. Big return. And straight into an east and Straight wow. into an east and great, great transition. Great transition wrestling from Luna. That was great wrestling from Beautiful Luna. Beautiful wow. mat return. Shane Sparks would have loved that one. <laughs> Shane Sparks would love that mat return. And Luna's going back on his feet. You know, those first two came pretty easy. Wow. Oh, Whoa. and he gets another one. Good take down by Luna. Wow. It's great snap down. Looking for that far seeing it now, looking for Maybe power looking for hat. something. So, some pinning combination. He's got, oh, he's got it tight. Oh, he's got it on his back. He's got it tight. He's got settling here plenty of time. Luna settling in. Close to a fall. We've got 45 seconds. This guy's got to fight. Got to lift his head, get his shoulder blades to the mat. And that is close, folks. That's about as close as it gets. And there it is, oh, Jaden Luna, Luna with the fall. PV not happy with that thing. Next up, we have Jake Knight from Bettendorf. And Wiz Nesky from PV. Jake wow. Knight with a crisp slide by. Looking to cut him go again. In and out, good again, motion in by and Knight. Out. Another Two solid quick takedowns take in 15 seconds here. Another slide by from Jake. Goes opposite side oh, to a looking headlock. To, looking for a fall again. And this is looking like it's going to be it. Jake's been in this position a time or two. Good fight. Got to keep him on here. And Jake Knight with a fall. Out of bounds. In under two minutes. Oh, wait. I think they called it out of bounds. I'm not sure if he can get a fall right on that. Oh, wait, no. They... Oh, and he goes to cut him. A lot of confusion in the PV gym now. Yeah, they called that out of bounds, gave him three backs. But now it looks like. <laughs> yeah. I thought he did. I thought he called a fall, too. Well, it's him. He did the mode. I thought he hit the man. It's chaos in here, folks. <laughs> the Bettendorf crowd is erupting. Oh. 
I'm about to take that chair. Coach Knight actually lost all of his hair from this one match. <laughs> You know, I hate to say it, but he's sitting right next to Siebel, and now it looks like Siebel's balding. Wow. Yeah, that is Matthew Siebold, in case anybody was wondering. He is in, balding as well. An unfortunate series of events for the Benton North bench. Yeah. Good thing he will not be hearing this, so <laughs> I will not be facing any repercussions for it. I'm here for the consequences. <laughs> <clears throat> Looks like we got it figured out. We're back to the center here. And Jake Knight on his offense again, kind of bouncing in and out. Jake Knight back to his over collar. <laughs> Jake Knight to an underhook. On the edge. Trying to keep him in, throws it up, nothing of it. Jake Knight with oh, the fake, in good. and out. Oh my goodness! To a pancake! And that is tight, folks. And that's and it. Ball. Should have left that one on track wrestling. It was the same result. <laughs> <clears throat> These guys met a couple times last year from PV. We got Carter Siebel, ranked number 10. And from Bendorf, we have number three ranked returning state champion TJ Kester. TJ kind of back on it right away into his offense. <clears throat> Nothing of it. DJ with a half shot in, into a meat hook. And just keeping the pressure on. Siebold, really no answer for it. Good shot on the edge by TJ. That's twice now, he's basically driven him straight backwards. Yep. TJ Kester again, back to that under, or that meat hook. Head inside. Fake Pulls single. Him down. Into a front head here. Kester looking to score on the edge, two. and he'll get his two. Kester. Maybe looking for some back points here. Nope. Drives him out. And he's gonna let him go. He's he's gonna get another one. <coughs> Kester with another half shot in. Elbow pass off. Half shot, high crotch from Kester. Runs wow. corner to a dump. Wow. He might dump. get the fall here. Kester puts in that Turk and gets him to his back. Let him come Sink out in a deep the half. half. Oh, that is, that's that tight. is tight. And that, that looks fall. like it's it, folks. And that's a fall. <laughs> Freshman Cody Trevino up from that North. Caden Irvin, returning state qualifier from Pleasant Valley against number five ranked freshman Cody Trevino. Cody kind of oh, catches look. it. Good little go behind by Cody Trevino. Trevino gets hit with stalling there. Oh, 
Trevino kind of in on a shot on the edge here. Nothing of it. They go out of bounds. Back on their feet. Trevino with an over collar snap. Quick go behind. Trevino looking for that over collar again, not quite. Ends up in a front headlock here. Corner. Good elbow control by Irvin. <clears throat> inside, inside trip, inside trip. trip. attempt. Snap down, go behind. Great wrestling on the edge there. Irving looking for a head here. <laughs> Trevino really having nothing of it. Cut on the edge here, 35 seconds left. Thirty seconds left in the first. Trevino cuts him. Good single. Trevino kind of on the cross. edge. Irving doing a good job of getting down and off of it. Front head for Irving. Trevino with elbow control. Oh, Irving oh goes my. mixer. Great way of fighting out of that to end the period. And nothing out of that great scramble there. These PV wrestlers are dangerous. They have a lot of funk. Kester. Irving kind of oh, going Irvin for a, a boot. solid right here. Gets a boot in on the right side. Power half left. Flattens him out. Maybe looking for... Wow. Looks like he was on the throat. They call it potentially dangerous. You hear the Bettendorf bench saying, you need to see off your pockets. No more legs. Looks like Trevino does just that, and he's up to his feet. Irving needing to return here. And an illegal return by Irving. I'm not, I'm not sure what. PB's bench not happy with it, but it is an illegal move. When both your feet leave the ground, Oh, that's what happened. On a trip, you are not allowed to do that. One foot has to constantly be on the ground. Should be a point then for Trevino for an illegal move, and it, it is. It looks like it is here. One point Trevino for an illegal move. <clears throat> Good switch off the whistle. Oh, Cody looking for, a looking for a reversal here. Good job of Irvin staying behind the arms. And Cody just kind of switches out of it. Gets another one. Cody with a good snap. Looks like he's going to get a go behind here. Irving reaching back for the leg here. Kind of a bold strategy. Trevino hooked ankle near side. Irving not really looking to do anything, just kind of holding on here. I assume. Trevino, assume. Does, Trevino does a good job here cross facing, trying to break that lock. Irving finally lets go of that leg. Trevino settles back to a crab ride type thing, pulls out to a chop. Maybe looking east in. He's got it locked up. He's going to get it on the edge here. That's oh, close, to, close a fall. to a fall. Gets a two count on the edge here. Irving kind of do a quad pod here. 
Trevino does a good job following. Trevino probably just looking to ride out this period. Little roll from Irving. Trevino. <laughs> PV's choice and they go back down. Trevino cuts him. <clears throat> Maybe looking for that tech here to finish off the duel, really put the stamp on it. Trevino's pace wow. just looks like too much for Irving here. Trevino needs to pull this down here. And he cuts to a double. Oh, Steps up a to a Turk. And this could be it here. Great nope. job of elevating that. Oh, not quite it. It'll end up 17-14. Irving reaching back for that leg. Trevino maybe just walks that towards his head. This is a new move here. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Leg cradle. Trevino going leg cradle. He still hasn't gotten his near fall, even though it's a new move. He needs to crawl out here and he's gonna get his backs. He's got it. Oh, man. He's going leg half now. Wow. Jeez. I would, I would like to take credit for that. I put Cody in a leg half yes, or a leg cradle yesterday. Fresh on his mind from Brad, Bradley Hill. You heard it here, folks. Here first. Trevino cuts him, goes back work on his feet. TV fans He's kind of taking off here. A little bit early. Good dump by Trevino, looking to come out on top, potentially on his back. Irving just kind of squeezing. Great defense Two count tactic. will be enough to... <laughs> and Cody's going like, to get the backs. And that's going to be the end of the match there. Cody Trevino with the technical fall to seal this duel off. Irving not pleased with that performance. Looks like Bettendorf will come out on top 49 to 18. Great duel by both teams. Lots of fun matches. Yeah. Thanks for having us.